hey guys and welcome back to my channel it's your girl fee here if you're new here welcome what's good what's popping make sure you subscribe if you're returning here hey guys today we're just going to be talking about life i guess you could say like um the shit that's been going on and dating and all that jazz so i'm just gonna do my makeup for the a chit chat and you guys can stick around and get ready with me i guess right subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed make sure you hit the notification bell because i've been trying to go with my tuesday uploads and you know it's been happening but the time's been differently so like make sure you put the notifications on so you can get the notification when my video come out hello all right also what else i forgot what else i don't know make sure you subscribe to my channel and here we go chit chat get ready with me Alright guys, so I'm just gonna do a quick little chit chat. Okay, oh good. Um I did have like a couple of questions that was asked via social media and I'll answer those and you know whatever. Whatever happens, happens because it's we're chilling today. So I'm gonna moisturize what I'm not gonna like name every little product that I use. I might do hit you with the because that would quickly bear my attention. So moisturizing with the kills. Kills. So um let's talk about it. We've been quarantining for some time now. I'm gonna get down because my mirror's right here. Let's talk about Quarantine weight. How is that going for everybody? Because I feel like in the beginning, shit was all good. Shit was all good. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> weight knocked at the door and was like, huh, sis, like, what have y'all been doing to like, maintain either the weight that you were or like what's your weight goals right now because right now i had to get back to the girl before quarantine because i was on my shit then so like it's crazy like maybe i'll insert a picture here up you'll see but like right now your girl has gained 12 pounds okay 12 pounds to, like get me bodied i have to get my shit together honestly and truly like what's really good also guys if you hear like the noise that's ac because it's hotter than the motherfucker okay and I was gonna turn it off. I really was, guys. But it's hot. And I'm trying to do my video early on to like combat having it to be on high. But shit, it's hot. It's hell, honestly. So what do you guys have been working out, online workouts, home workouts, because you can't go to the gym no more. So what have y'all been doing? Tell me in the comments because I'm curious and interested. I just started the um, jump rope challenge. I did my first seven days. In the first seven days, I lost three pounds. Um, so I'm cool with that. Um, what have y'all been doing? Cause some people, 
some home workouts. Put me in the comments. Put me down. Put me on. What y'all been doing? What y'all been eating? What what um lifestyle? Because I feel like people be acting like the word diet is like a fucking crime. It's not. If you are on some um not keto though. I don't think I don't know if I want to do keto. I don't know enough information about it to be like this is what I'm doing next. Ooh, this is a rare sighting. Me doing my eyebrows on camera. As usually I don't. But what have y'all been doing? Like, I know a couple of my friends have been doing some biking. I don't think I'm about that life. So yeah, I remember when I was when the gym was open and me and my sister went um is it what is it called? It's not called cycling. Y'all know what I'm talking about at the gym, this bike class. Why is that name escaping me right now? But anyway, when I say that bike seat violated, the bike seat violated, okay? And I don't got that to do with my life. I don't know if the seat wasn't adjusted properly, but I was hurting from the ruta to the tuta, okay? And I I wasn't, I'm not with that. It's enough for me, dog. Like, what? And I get that you gotta buy the right bike and the right seat for you, but then next thing you know, you gotta buy helmets. And all. I'm good. Y'all have fun. Um, I do have a treadmill at my house, so treadmill weights are jazz. So I am really trying to like get back in the habit because you know quarantine will have you feeling some type of way. I don't know if I want to use the word depressed because I have not been clinically diagnosed with that, but your, your feelings be up and down and some days you with it, some days you not. Like even, so like I was saying, I haven't been ever like clinically diagnosed with depression or anything like that, but like, listen, some days it be like, dog, what the whole fuck is going on here? You know, like, then you get on social media and it's still like, sheesh, like, can we get a break? And like, you just, so you kind of like remove yourself from it and that takes away like from your, I know, I don't know, if I'm speaking for everybody, but for myself that takes away my um creativity like when i'm like down it's kind of like i ain't doing that and you can't make me so that's why i didn't put a video up last week i just needed a break because like i don't want to say i was getting burnt out but i was definitely like needing the moment because like as a content creator, people either look at you for two different things, you know? They look at you to be the person that's gonna speak out about everything that's going on in the world, or they look to you to be the person to help them escape from what is going on in the world. But like at the end of the day, we are still a part of the things that are going on in the world. So it's sometimes it's really hard to like, separate it and then come on here to make a video to help you guys feel better but you know we begin to down some people i noticed a lot of like creators have been taking little breaks from um uploading which shit, we need it breaks are necessary like don't burn yourself out trying to get you know this content out, the people that fuck with you is going to stay, hopefully. Cause like, 
are you subscribed to my channel? Like, are you watching this and not subscribed to my channel? Like, it's free though, like, free. Like, not 99 cents, not a dollar. It's free, and you here already, so like, subscribe, you know? Just, let's just be, let's just do it. Let's just, let's just go ahead, you know? Like, let's do it, subscribe. So anywho, I kind of got the tan, so I got mixed colors. And I'm using the Tarte Shake Tape and the Fit Me Matteless Poreless. Um, oh yeah, so Sh cousin Sharice asked me about um, what am I looking for? Um, I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit. About boob tape. <laughs> Cause I don't wanna talk about that cream content stuff too long because you know, it's kind of a downer. Like, cause you, moving on. Cause it is a downer. Anyway, so she asked me about boob tape. <laughs> and like, is there a limit to what size boobs tits can wear it? And honestly, to me, no. Because before I got these lovelies, I used to wear a 40i. That was my size. And um, what the fuck am I looking for? So um, as far as boob tape, I definitely used it then. And it's just certain ways that you have to apply it. What in the whole fuck am I looking for? Anyways, it is certain ways that you need to apply it depending on your uh, boob size and what you wear. But to me, I don't think it's a size limit. You obviously need to know what you're doing for sure. So like, Example, I wore uh, old, old tits, okay? 40 eyes, okay? That's what we're talking about here. I wore a deep lunged um, spaghetti strap dress. And because it's a deep plunge, you know that joint coming, I'll put a picture. It's coming down all the way to like damn near top of your belly so in that case i had to tape my boobs down because you know real boobs move okay so i had to tape them down so that in the dress they don't be like calling out so that way i had to tape them so with the deep plunge and those spaghetti straps, so you can't really like tape all the way up because you're gonna see the tape because it's spaghetti strap. So if you're blessed to find a uh, strapless bra that could fit or go with that dress, um, I actually found a racer back bra to go with that dress. And um, the straps, pretty much blended in because it almost looked like the dress had two straps. Do I have a picture with that? If I do, if I have a picture with it, I'll insert it or whatever. But you couldn't really tell that the straps of the dress, I mean the bra straps versus the dress straps. So, but in that case, I had to, this was a deep V and I didn't want the whole like, damn, the crowding of you know the tits because that should be sweaty as fuck so i use duct tape and you put a tissue over your nipple and then you take your tape and you go from the as close to the end of the dress as possible without it showing because you don't want it to show at all and you tape this way like tightly tape this way and then if you have a a strapless bra or the racer back bra that I had, you put it on top of that, and then your boobs just 
be sitting. Sitting pretty, okay? So, I know for sure there's not a real, real size limit on boob tape. Now, the one that you have to tape up this way, that might be because sometimes, well, most times, people with larger breath, the breast tissue is heavy. Look at that chain, y'all. Lord have mercy. Anyways, the uh, breast tissue is heavy. So, that tape might be a little bit harder, but I'm pretty sure you could pull it off. I've only used the tape that goes up. Actually, I'm lying. I'll tape my... So, the thing is, I feel like the larger breast people, like those little tape concoctions from Victoria's Secret or Amazon, those are cute. But you need duct tape. Like, <laughs> like I don't think those is going to hold those up. Those might come with the breast size limit. I only use those after I got a breast reduction. And, um... I, during my breast reduction, maybe I should do a video about that. If you guys want to see a video of my breast reduction journey, I do have some uh, videos highlighted on my Instagram. If you want to go there and see some stuff. But maybe I will do a whole breast reduction video because honestly, that is the reason why I started a YouTube channel is because when I went to try to find videos and journeys about people who have a breast reduction, they were literally out of every one breast reduction video I found, there were eight or ten um what was I about to say? There were eight or ten breast enlargement videos there. Like, that's more, I guess, on trend than breast reduction. But, um, yeah, so, oh, I'm sorry, yes. Well, yeah, no. regular schmegler. Those were more popular than breast reduction videos. So, it was literally hard as hell to find a breast reduction video and a breast reduction video from a black person because we all know we all scar different, our skin is different. So you can't really like depend on, you know, the Caucasian gals. But you know, that's, they have more videos out then. So that's another reason. So yeah, I might do a, a breast reduction video because literally that's the reason why. But back to the boob tape. I think with larger breasts, you should use duct tape. Smaller breasts, you can use those like um, Victoria's Secret tapes or the tape that you find on Amazon. Those are cute, but if your breasts are large, you might want to use duct tape. And it's not going to hurt you. Make sure you always put, if you're going to use duct tape, always put like tissue, a folded tissue or a paper towel over your nipple because who wants to be ripping tape off their nipple? Like, that's crazy. But yeah, definitely cover up your nipple and then apply that tape, baby girl. You good. And always apply it in the way that you want your boobs to look. Like, if you want them to be sitting up, you might want to go this way with the tape. If you want them to be, like, cute but, like, not sitting on top of each other, separated in a sense, you go this way with the tape. Okay? And then if you have other... If you feel like your boobs are saggy, cause like, that's life. Everybody's tits is not always gonna be standing up. But if you are going for the lifted boob effect, you wanna do your tape and then your bra. I mean, it's sometimes that I had on like a deep cut V shirt and I didn't want my, I had on a, one of those good push up bras that had your tits in the air, but I didn't want it to be like, all on top of each other so I would take them back this way to create space and then put my bra on. Y'all get what I'm saying? You feel me? Does this make sense? I hope so. I hope I answered the question properly too because I totally understand because boob tape is uh, something else. 
But yeah, I definitely use them with both. I've used boob tape on with both um, boobs. Well, but right now, I can really go braless because when I got my reduction, they lifted them too. And um, so I don't have to wear a bra, <laughs> which is good news because who likes wearing bras? Who likes wearing bras? Nobody. Honestly and truly, nobody does. So I'm good money now. Yeah, I'll do a um, breast reduction video so you guys can like get in, get a bunch of information because honestly, getting a breast reduction is mental and physical. Okay, especially if you have it for a long time and you just now getting a reduction. Like I got my reduction a year ago, and um, I've had big tits since I was like. 13 and I'm <laughs> 34 so yeah that is a good video to do maybe I'll yeah I'll do that all right so what else I wanted to talk to y'all about traveling has anybody traveled yet like how that's going I am a little scared to travel but honestly, I feel like traveling would make me feel better. And that's only because I, before this, I traveled so often. It was just like, damn near, like something was always coming up, you know? And to like, just literally be sitting in the house all the fucking time, like all the fucking time. Is kind of nerve-wracking because I mean if you are anything like me you are like working your nine-to-five from home like in the beginning I wasn't even really like going out grocery shopping I was doing Instacart I mean I go grocery shopping now but it's just like you can't even like linger in the store and pick up shit that you ain't supposed to be getting because like you could hardly breathe in that mask and now it's like supermarket sweep in there to get your stuff and get up out of there because you don't want people all crowding around you and you ain't trying to really like linger in that store like that. So it's like not even fulfilling, honestly, if we're being honest here. Like I almost want to go back to Instacart, but um, I do want to travel, like, but you know, right now, because in New York State, if you come from basically the highly traveled place, party places, you have the quarantine for 14 days after. I mean, I guess that's fine because shit, I've been in the house anyway. So, but do I want to risk it? Do I want to risk it all? I had to cancel so many trips already. Yeah, it's just like, let me out. Let me out. I need to be free. Where have y'all gone so far? And how was it? And how was it when you came back? Like, should I risk all? Tell me, y'all. Tell me in the comments. Dare I risk it all? And just go, you know? Because I want to. Trust me, I want to. And with the holidays that's passed, you know, everybody, everybody's out. Y'all still doing barbecues and stuff? Like, I really been in the house. Like, I went to work once during this whole thing to uh clean up my desk because like they got us out out until September and even then it might be uh what was I saying? They got us out to September and even then it might be like 
by choice to come in back into the office. And one thing about me is that I don't play with people being sick in the office. And I know for a fact, people who work at my job come into work sick. And I don't got time for that. So my ass is about to be working from home on the rig, okay? Which is cool with me because I ain't got to worry about that. I ain't got to worry about that. Mm. Um, This is the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Yeah, so tell me in the comments if you've been out here getting it. Number one, I'm low-key jealous. <laughs> and number two, how did it go? Like... How was the people acting? Like, especially Atlanta. Atlanta seems like they're having so much fun. And listen, I want to be down, but I also don't want to be sick. You feel me? And how has your business been doing? Like, anybody with a storefront or online business, has things been, has Quarantine, COVID, all that jazz. Um, how has that affected your business? Can you still like be in a post office? Like, what's good? I know um, as far as like my podcast, our studio has been closed this whole time. So we haven't been able to like record or whatever. Which also is a bummer because, you know, when you have so many outlets of, like, creativity and then a bunch of them are, like, just gone, it's kind of like, damn. Damn, damn, yo, what can I do? If we can't go to the studio, where can we go? <laughs> I mean, that's just how I feel about it right now because, like, jeez Louise. Um, but they are about to open back soon and, um... They got some regulations that we don't have to follow. I'm gonna do my eyes real quick, kitty quick. I'm using Morphe palette. Uh, what is the name of this Morphe palette? Because this is literally my favorite one. Oh, Bronze Babe. We just going with some warm colors today, cause um yeah. So no studio, none of that shit is happening. And, you know, being in the house doing nothing is, um, you find snacks. That's, I mean, that's why I'm where I'm at with the whole food situation, because that's all I was able to do. Snackity snack it up, you know? It is what it is, you know, whatever. What was on this brush? Oh, the other thing I've been doing during quarantine is just like skincare because I'm finding out, you know, what's working, like paying more attention. Because before, I mean, I was on top of it, but like I wasn't paying attention, if that makes sense. I was like, doing it like oh I hope all this stuff I'm doing is working but I wasn't paying attention so now I'm paying attention to what each thing is doing and like how it's going I had do y'all want a video about that let me know because I found out that now that my skin is clearing up, that I have a shit ton of moles, okay? A shit ton of moles. And it's crazy. Because I was looking to get rid of, like, texture on my skin. Like, here. But clearly, it's not going nowhere because... They're moles. They're not even, <laughs> it's not even something that 
is gonna go away because they're moles, you know? Basically, I'm just about to do a quick eye look because what am I getting ready for, you may ask? Because uh, that is what this is about, getting ready. I am getting ready to <laughs> record another video. It's kind of like my recording day. I'm learning that, you know, if you could do more than one video in a day, do that. Do that. That's way better. Because that's even like what we do as far as the podcast. We um, record two, video two episodes, two to three episodes actually at a time and then we put them out when they're supposed to go out i mean that's the best way honestly honestly and truly oh another thing let's talk about a lot of people may not notice about me because if i'm already cool with you it is what it is but i'm like a heavy introvert and what might say, how can you be a content creator and an introvert at the same time? Well, let me tell you, it's not that hard actually, um, because it's like a job, honestly. Um, and it's something I chose to do. Now, like if I apply for a job, like a nine to five job as a, uh, claims or data entry and then when I get there they're like oh you're talking on the phone I'm gonna have a problem because that's not what I signed up for that's not my thing and I'm not the social butterfly that's gonna just jump right into that and be cool like sometimes like if I have an event I have to like plan my day around that event so I know like okay we got to turn it on. Okay, fall out. It's really like a turn on, turn off type of switch thing that I have. I don't know if a lot of introverts have that, but another thing is sometimes when I'm just really not with the shits, I will smoke before I do it or before I go. And that makes it better because, you know, sometimes when you smoke, it's kind of like, whatever let's just do this let's get it done and so we can move on so that helps that really do help um but listen being an introvert is hard work because people always think you have an attitude and you don't necessarily i feel like i should use this to yeah you don't necessarily it's just like whatever is happening at the time might not be your shiz you know and if it is your friend or whoever somebody that you cool with thing you don't want to be the girl or the guy that's just like all right i'm out because this ain't it this ain't this ain't what i thought it was about to be you know but shit, that's how you be feeling <laughs> i know y'all have seen those pictures where I really should have used tape. Like, I really just tried to freestyle this like I was, uh, like I does this and I don't does this, okay? <laughs> I don't do, do this, all right? So, um, I know if y'all seen that picture of uh, people like one minute, I know it was like a Drake or Future, who are both Scorpios, by the way, which I am a Scorpio too. Um, when you at the party, and in the beginning, you all like, yeah, we out here, turn up, turn up. And now you sitting in the corner like, eh, I could go. Yo, that's me to the T, like, I be out here with my friends, like, yeah, we doing this. And then it's kind of like, no, we not doing this. And as an introvert, it's hard to like, let your guard down about shit. Cause it's kind of like, do I want you in my bubble? Like, you know, using the OG triple OG. It's like, once I let you in the bubble, like, are you gonna treat the bubble properly? Like, 
having to kick somebody out your bubble is like huh another person and i ultimately makes you like build a larger wall not saying that any of this is good trust me it's not i'm definitely the girl the friend that's like who is these girls like who invited them especially if i'm doing something like with my friends and they don't pre-tell me that it's some new people about to be there listen i'm quiet the whole night because who are they they not in the trust bubble they not they haven't made it there they ain't supposed to be here like what's good bye bye chin um yeah so being an introvert is whew, hard work because uh we always on 10 i guess you could say 10 about your space anyway because i know i'm always like now nah. come on now i've done let even when it comes to guys it's kind of like which makes online dating, even though I haven't really did that, unless you're talking about like somebody slid into my DMs, you know how that goes. Somebody signed to your DMs and y'all exchange numbers. Now y'all texting, whatever. Y'all might even FaceTime. Trust me, as an introvert, all of that's cool. But when I meet you, it's almost like starting from square one because it's like the vibe that you gave me on the phone could be potentially different in person. And if it is, Lord have mercy. We gonna have problems, Julius, please. And um, it didn't go work. Like I'm literally like rescoping out the situation when um, you meet somebody. Ooh. When I meet somebody online and then chill with them, or even like a old joint, like. Or, you know, like somebody you grew up with and now they finally come up saying, you know, I like, I like you. You know how y'all do. And um, it's like, yeah, that what you was talking before was cool and all, but like, I have to like reintroduce your energy into mine because I've either erased it or, you know, don't remember it. And, my energy is changing all the time. So, like, is it going to mesh? Like, what? Like, who are you again? Like, you have to start from square one with people because, like, what? But that's just me as an introvert. I'm really, really, really funny acting about my space and who's in my space because, like, Listen, the people will turn you into something else, trust and believe. And that goes for like friends and family. Like I'm real funny about who I let into my space. What am I about to highlight with? I think I just want like a subtle joint because nothing too wild, you know, sign, sign tame or whatever. I'm gonna do the highlight that comes in this palette. Cause this is a build up bow one. Well, unless you like scrape it. Anyway, what else I wanna to talk to y'all about? Ooh, trust me, if you're an introvert, you understand everything I'm saying, okay? You be wanting to get the fuck out of places quickly. Like, this was cool, but I gotta go. I gotta go. Do y'all put the highlight all the way down your nose? I think I only put it right there, a little bit right there. I'm overdoing it for sure. What else, guys? What else y'all got going on? What else? What was the other? Oh, <laughs> the other, another question from the medias. I ain't gonna tell y'all who asked me this, but whatever. The people wants to know, am I a single? 
Now this is something I don't, I don't know why I just did that, but I just felt like my, I, what's the name, was just too harsh. Like, okay. The people want to know am I single? Hold on, I forgot my setting spray. Please hold. All right, so I'm going to set with the LA Girl, LA Girl Pro setting high definition spray because I feel like this gives me my, um, gives me the juice that I need to wear this for multiple views because you're gonna get hot. All right, where was I? Ooh, can't breathe. Oh, so dating, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I don't normally talk about this because I've been feeling like, who business is that? But here we go, because y'all ain't about to keep asking me this question. <laughs> Am I single? So the answer is yes. So I know, I know the people who knows, know that like, whoop can't believe you just said that but honestly and truly some things has just transpired and the answer is yes because let me just tell you about me unfortunately for me but fortunately for guys like, if we doing this, like, your girl is loyal to a fault. Like, even when we, like, in the middle of some, like, bullshit or, like, and Buddy says, like, oh, I'm going through some shit. <laughs> I'm going, I gotta just sort some shit out, whatever, like, blah, blah, blah. Y'all know how y'all give it up. I'm still be like, all right, cool. Like, cause to me, communication is the key. And if you were, you know, grown enough to communicate that, I expect you to be adult enough to like operate correctly after saying that. So I'm still like, hold it down because I'm good. Like, I'm good about myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love me enough that I'm cool with like, that type of arrangement situationships if you will to put a put a name on it but it does come a time when situationships ain't working and that's not because or whatever somebody did something wrong or you know somebody's cheating but like if you're don't say one thing and do another. So if the agreement was blase, 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 and then only blase happened, we need to either have another conversation or I need to exit. So I exited. <laughs> um, so yeah, crazy enough that I'm actually saying this, but your girl is single out here. You know, and it would be the summer of bullshit in the world. So ain't no hot, oh shit, talking shit. <laughs> so ain't no uh, hot girl summer for me, but uh, it could be. Like, I'm in the market for a hot girl summer. So as far as like going forward and dating, like, I don't know. I don't know. How, tell me in the comments, how long after you break up with somebody, not a bad breakup, because I know bad breakups tend to either like, you either jump right into a new relationship or you like butt hurt for a long time about it. So like, let's just say it was a mutual understanding breakup. How long before you start dating somebody else? Tell me that in the comments. How long 
before, I mean, after a mutual breakup. How long after a mutual breakup do you, one, start telling people that you single? Because, you know, once you're in a relationship or even a situationship for a long period of time, we're talking like a year or two or three, um, you're so used to saying, I had a boyfriend, I had a boyfriend, or I have a girlfriend. If, you, if you're a guy watching this, I have a girlfriend, or I have a, I mean, or if you like girls, I have a girlfriend. And I have a girlfriend, I have a boyfriend. You've been saying it for so long that after you break up, like, you still be saying that shit. I know, that be happening to me. I be quick, like, oh, no, I got a boyfriend. But then it's like, sis, you good out here in these streets. Like, what's up? <laughs> What's popping? What's crackalacking out here in these streets? I don't know, but Dayton been looking a little scary, okay? <laughs> Cause y'all guys, I mean, shit, get it together. What am I missing? Tweezers. All right, I gotta get my tweezers. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So, um, yeah, tell me in the comments how long after a mutual breakup. Do you start telling people that you're single? And how long after the breakup, how long after the breakup do you go on your first date? See, like take your time and answer those questions because don't be trying to be out here a G because I know that used to be me. Like I'm a G, I'm going right after shit. But uh, sometimes when you really thought that That was it. This was gonna be the thing. You like need a break. I know I need a break because I don't want ever to like put the behaviors of the dude I used to mess with and how I reacted to them onto the next guy. <laughs> yeah, so I need a little bit of moment to like regroup to get back to how I act and then it's, it's easier to act accordingly to the next guy if that makes sense because trust me when you first break up with somebody the how you reacted to the things they said because you knew their intentions behind it isn't always the right way so you kind of need that little break in between so you won't be like spazzing on niggas for no reason because your old joint used to be saying slick shit and a new one, you know, you know how it go. You know how it go. You just need a break. By the way, these is those little mama lashes, I think. Yeah, these are, what's that? I don't remember. I already took my package. Yeah, so like, dating has been a bit tricky. Cause another thing you do when you dating is one person for a long time, you get used to what they provide. I don't want that to sound too crazy, but I'm not just talking about financially, although, yeah. But like, were was the person before like clingy was he like he or she like um disrespectful <laughs> was they like you know you know just the traits of the person that you used to mess with because trust me dudes be clingy out here it was your old joint a liar? Like, now you can't believe what niggas saying because 
dude used to be lying about everything. Y'all know who we are. We've all been through those dudes though. But like, even like, lifestyle. You get accustomed to each other's lifestyle. And now y'all yeah, back dating other people. And it's like, hmm. Well, I really like that lifestyle. And that's why, honestly, I know y'all be saying like, these like IG models be running through nigga, the same niggas or the nigga, dudes, rappers be running through the same girls. It's speak that's another big reason why is because once you get accustomed to a certain type of lifestyle, like dating any type of dude, any other type of guy is like foreign behavior. Not saying that that's the right way to go about it because sometimes you do need to change it up, but if there was nothing wrong with, if you thoroughly enjoyed that type of lifestyle, you're gonna keep dating dudes in that lifestyle. So let's just, let's just be, let's keep it funky, okay? Everybody ain't technically ran through. It's just, those are the kind of dudes they like. <laughs> and if the people ain't homies, friends or whatever, what, how they ran through? Make it make sense, people. I mean, there is some men and women that, like, date really often in a lot. Sorry, y'all. I cannot talk to that. But it is some guys who do date a lot. And let's not even say date. Like, dates, to me, really don't mean a lot. They don't have as much weight as this person and this person was together and then she started now she's in a relationship with this person or he's in a relationship with this person i think those are at this age those mean more than dating like just start taking pictures with dudes that you're dating or women that you just dating like those shouldn't be on social media if you ask me i'm also really private and introvert so should you take advice from me? <laughs> but um, yeah, I feel like if you're just dating somebody, like keep that shit on social media. Like those are the things that everybody should be seeing because that's why you get like linked with so many people. And I mean, I know sometimes it's not your fault because the fans take pictures of people and post it on social media. But, like, if you can help it, I suggest to, like, nah. Keep that off social media until y'all solid. Because, trust me, when I say it's going to be some female or male waiting, waiting to be like, me too. He's dating me too. When I tell y'all, they go far with it trust me they go fire with it do i have a story about it absolutely am i about to say it right now no but trust me they go fire oh, example they will locate your email address to email you about baby boy or baby girl they will dm you about it because he don't like your pictures too many times like girl relax and if it's true <laughs> or if sometimes it don't even be about nothing and they i know one time a girl hit my phone, like, I don't know what you and him keep, what you keep hitting my man about for, but he got a girlfriend. And let me just tell y'all, he was ordering strawberries for me, <laughs> for her. <laughs> and I'm just like, sis, did you read the thread? Like, read the thread before you hit my phone because... 
he is ordering strawberries for you. Like, you gotta relax. But this is how they be giving it up. I'm trying to tell y'all. So, like, as long as you can keep the shit private, do that. Yeah, so, like, listen, they be going far for what they think is there. And I'm gonna be that serious. I mean, can we leave that and can we not do that in 2020? Like, that exposed shit is garbage, okay? Because at the time, you was loving their dirty draws, but now all of a sudden you need to tell all they goddamn business. That just don't make sense to me, like, not never. Would you catch me doing that? Like, take your L and just move along. Like, just go. Like, I don't understand why people be on here like, oh, I'm about to expose this person for dating me and other people. Like, so the fuck what? Like, take your L, move on. Do with your little broken heart. Like, I'm just not ever going out of my way to expose somebody. Like, how stupid does that make you look? Like, you don't even look trustworthy no more. Like, who's dating you after you did that? I know I wouldn't. I'm not dating no dude that took the time out of his day to expose another girl. Or another dude. I'm not dating no dude who took the time out of his day to, like, inbox another dude about his girl. Like, ask her. Check her. Like, it's really that easy. And if you think she lying, like, or you think he lying, break up with him. Like, I'm not, I'm not doing all of that work, investigation. Well, let me be honest here. Let's keep it funky. We've all done some investigation. I never hit nobody up upon my investigation. I'm asking buddy, like, what's good? What's up, what's up with her? What's up with her? Who that? And if I feel like you lying, Damn, we got a problem. Other than that, you go through phones, you doing all that, you getting exactly what you're looking for. Well, you can just chill. Trust me, if you just chill, the information will come right to you. Trust me. Trust me, <laughs> the information will fall in your fucking lap. Like, I mean, if you got your antenna up, like you, you always need to have your antenna up. Like, honestly, I wish you didn't have to be like that, but I feel like at least until you marry, or are you at the point of like, nah, this is the one we both have understanding the commitment or whatever. But if y'all just like dating or still in the beginning stages, antennas need to be up at all times. Like something, 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 something just ain't right. And you just figure that shit out. Like nobody gonna look at you differently if you find out and stay with them. That's on you. That's your relationship. I think that's another thing. Uh, people in relationships try to like be like goals. Like this needs to look good. I literally heard somebody say, "Oh, I need to go to this thing with my. <laughs> I need to go to this thing with my person because I need people to understand that we still together." Like who cares? Nobody that devoted to your relationship. And if they are, it's because you put your relationship on social media and we have the inside scoop now. If we never had it, we wouldn't give a fuck. Trust me. Trust me. Leave your, as the old folks used to say, house business is house business. Leave that shit in a house. We don't care. We honestly don't care. And you know, the people who are invested are not invested for your well-being. They're invested to laugh at you. Okay. Oh, this is um the I got this from my hair store. This is the shade Coco. Like if we be out, 
completely honest, like, locally and, like, your favorite person. People who, like, shade room gossip, they don't give a fuck about them people. You put your shit online or somebody went to the exposed thing about you and they reporting it. Not because they care, but your shit is on the, on the webs, so they have access to it. If it wasn't, they would have nothing to report. And I don't want to be nobody goals. That's not even something that you could really live up to. Cause then it's like, don't put me on a pedestal cause I fucked up, okay? The Odie Bug Goodie, Fenty, Gloss Bomb. Like, I don't want to be nobody goals. Honestly and truly. Oh, it's like a lip strike. Cause ain't no way this should be feeling like love going on. Anywho, enough about that. How y'all dating life going? <laughs> if you're single, let me know in the comments. How that's going? How's that? Are you all right? <laughs> Cause. Shit. It's hard out here. How are you doing if you're single? How is quarantine treating you if you're single? If you're single in quarantine, we talked about this on our live. Make sure y'all follow us on Talk Podcast because we be going live. But anyway, um, if you're single in quarantine, like how's that going? Do you think that if you do have like a roster because I mean if you and you're not in a relationship you could literally have a roster and you're not a hub let's be clear but anyway if anybody on your roster if you have one would you have like to been quarantined with like how do you think that would have went <laughs> tell me in the comments like is there anybody that you like damn I wish we would have been stuck together with hmm Anybody? Let me know. All right, so pretty much done here. I think I did everything, right? I'm sorry, y'all, but I like overly hard. Oh, nah. Where my sponge go? Like overly spray when I got mashing to do. All right, so I'm gonna let this dry. And I'll be right back. Well, actually, why not dry it? Let me go ahead and release these babies. And, um, yeah. Have y'all been getting your hair done during quarantine? Cause shit. Oh, shit. Walking around like a tack head for most of quarantine. And I did not like it. All right. I'm going to dry down and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I have returned. Put on a little jewelry. I'm actually going to go to the store first and then record my next video because your girl is hungry and I need some food. So see y'all later. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. What you doing? Subscribe to my channel. And it's your girl B. It's been real. It's been fun. We chatted it up. You know, if y'all like these type of videos, let me know. Because, you know, I haven't done my makeup quite often. And I don't mind chatting while I'm doing it. I don't mind. I don't mind. Make sure y'all follow me on social media. My name is B underscore officially on Instagram and Twitter. That's really where I'd be like at, honestly. But uh, catch y'all in the next video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Like, it's free. Like, get to it. Like, let's go.
leave me a comment too of like did i do my makeup good hmm, 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 hmm. anyway see y'all in the next video i'll check you out later peace